Hello, so a new mask to review. Well, when I say new, it's probably been in storage for years, but new to me anyway. The Czech OM90 or OM90. So we'll open it out of its bag, and a lot of you will say, hey, this looks like a mask I'm quite familiar with, but it's definitely unissued this one, because obviously it's sealed in a bag I just have to rip open. So this is a size two, hopefully it fits me. So does this look like a mask some of you are familiar with? Very familiar with, because a mask it's, it's a mask I really like. Hmm, let's think, does that look like a mask you might be familiar with? Oh yes, it's a Czech S10 ripoff basically. So, the Czech Republic, I don't know why, after the, you know, commie, communism ended, decided they wanted a new mask. Now, bear in mind, during the communist period, Czechoslovakia had been ripping off um, the M17 as the M10, or, uh, or M10M, depending on the variant. They've been ripping off the Israeli M15 sort of, or, you know, Draeger M65 style masks as the um, sort of CM4s. And then it looks like the Czechs, for whatever reason, have ripped off the S10. Now, I like the Czech Republic. I've been there. It's a lovely country. I've also been to Slovakia. But why they have, like, a Chinese standard of just stealing everybody else's mask design and changing them slightly, I don't know. So let's have a look at this. So basically, unlike the S10, it's a five-point head harness, not a six-point one. We'll see how good that is in a minute. It's fabric straps for quite a nice looking back mesh bit, like a lot of other modern masks. This one's in size two. So you've got your obviously your XL valve at the bottom, your voice diaphragm there. This looks like it should be a blanking plug type design to switch the filter, but this doesn't unscrew at all. So maybe this is one with a fixed bit. So yeah, all in all, looks like an S10 from the outside, just with a different voice diaphragm type thing. So you've got your drinking tube bit in there. So it's obviously just a tube that, is that in line with the camera? Yeah, there we go swings round as you do it and that's where the drinking tube connects to the mask there if I can figure out how it uncouples there we go so it's, uh, it's a bit of a more interesting looking sort of drinking tube adapter how that connects to the canteen I don't know unless I'm being really stupid but anyway let's let's hook this bit back on it has come with a canteen adapter but I've got no real interest in trying to set up because I don't have a check canteen so, there's that. So, what I got was the mask obviously sealed. Uh, I'm just going to have a quick look and see if there's a date stamp on here anywhere. 02. And it says F9022 there. So, this one is from 2002 by the look of it and just never issued. So I assume the reason these have turned up on eBay now is that they're out of their sort of shelf life period and they've not been issued. So, here's the filter in all of its crinkly packaging. It says OF90 on it, and it's a Sigma with the little trident thing. That's pretty cool. So there's that. And then it also came with this card, which obviously is not in English, so it's in Czech. So no use to me. Obviously the satchel. But very interestingly, it came with this. Now, this doesn't quite fit in the satchel very well, so I'm wondering, is this an emergency sort of NBC poncho type thing? Let's open it and find out. But, you know, I never mind getting more NBC ponchos, so let's open this and have a look. So, I wonder if this is going to be on those check bin bag suits. Oh yeah, there we go. It's the Czechoslovakian bin bag suit, as in the garbage suit. Um, I have no idea if this is good or not, but basically, because this is sort of an emergency poncho design, I assume you just literally get the bottom of it, like this. Put that over your head there. There you go. There you go. Well, I suppose that's a very easy to put on NBC suit, because it's literally a plastic bag. But yeah, hmm, interesting. Right, let's get the filter packaging open. Let's have a look at the filter. I haven't got a knife on me, so um, let's hope I can get this open by hand somehow. Is there a tear line anywhere? Not what I can see. I wouldn't want to be a soldier in the field finding out you're getting gas and then looking for a knife or something to open your packet of um, filters because they've not actually uh, put a tail line on it like a lot of manufacturers do, but I should be able to get into this. Hmm. This is really tough foil. Right. 
I might have to go back and get a knife, so I'll be back in a moment. And here's the filter now it's opened. So I assume that 8-2000 means it was produced in the 8th month of the year 2000. So let's get this open. And oh look, the filter itself kind of looks like a rip-off of the S10 PF10 filter, whatever it's called. Oh well, at least um, I guess imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, whatever they say, so if you were Avon. As much as your mask design has been ripped off, you should kind of maybe feel happy that, um, you know, the checks have um, done that. Funnily enough, I've just noticed the eyepieces aren't as good look, because what they've done here is the S10 has that flat bit, and then it kind of curves around. This one just has literally a solid bit of plastic. Oh, I dear. But, oh well, it is what it is, and we will soon work out how good the mask itself is. So let's put this on. Right, other than the fact the drinking tube is slightly poking me in the nose, like lots of drinking tubes tend to do. Where's the lever for it? There. I'm just seeing if I can get that out of the way. I can't really get the drinking tube all that comfortable, so I might end up pulling it out, but... Other than the fact that the drinking tube's a bit irritating, the mask is actually quite comfortable. And the five-point head harness doesn't really cause any problems. Pressurizer is completely fine. Very good field of view. Only thing I've said that's irritating is that drinking tube. I don't know how good the voice diaphragm is, but let's put this on. There we go. So there's the human condom suit that's come with the um, mask. As you can see, it's probably not the best quality thing in the world in terms of emergency NBC poncho that it would work. But yeah, the mask, I can't actually really fault the mask too much, other than the um, drinking tube. And as I said, they've cheapened this bit out because they put hard plastic here rather than actually, you know, putting separate bits of the lens there. But in terms of comfort of the mask, it's absolutely fine, to be honest. But I suppose it is kind of just an S10, in all honesty. It's even got the little nose look like the S10 has, which isn't on the FM12. The voice diaphragm actually is probably better than the S10 though, saying that. By looking at the camera's sort of audio lines, I can see on my display. There's that. So at some point I'll gas myself in the bathroom with this on, but yeah, in terms of um, visibility and everything, I can't really fault this mask. So, yeah, for all the people asking about this mask, is it good or not? This was about £100 because of inflated mask prices on eBay at the moment. Would I pay £100 for this? Probably not. Would I pay a decent amount of money for this? Probably. I certainly wouldn't want to get rid of it. It's, you know, not bad in that regard. I know a lot of people don't like this mask. But again, as far as I'm aware, I think this is one of the masks that Myra resell for like a lot more money. So bear in mind, if there's a Myra variant of this, it will be the exact same mask, but being sold for like $300, $400, not $100. But there you go, the Czech OM90, it's basically like um, an S10 copy that might be a bit better in one or two ways, but probably worse in the majority of ways. But because I like S10 sort of style masks, I do end up really liking this, so um, yeah, there you go. Uh, the check on 90, if you don't have to pay too much for it, it doesn't seem to be a bad mask at all, but, um, yeah, don't, don't go paying loads and loads for it unless you really need a mask for, you know, desperation reasons.